Exactly one year ago, President Uhuru Kenyatta consolidated the operations of Kenya Pipeline, Kenya Railways Corporation, and the Kenya Port Authority into one entity known as the Kenya uh, Transport and Logistics Network. And it was placed under the management of the uh, Industrial and Commercial Development Corporation. The chairman of ICDC is John Gumi. He's joining us this week to help us understand what is the role of KTLN and what progress they have made so far mm. in making Kenya a logistic uh, hub. Thank you very much indeed for finding time to be with us this afternoon. Thank you, it's a pleasure. Exactly, I mean, it is still not yet clear Kenya Transport, Transport and Logistics, logistics uh, Network what is the role of, 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 of this uh, uh, institution? And the reason it's not clear is because it is, it's an idea, a concept that is evolving and developing. First of all, um, it's important also to remember one other de development that has taken place. Mm -hmm. so, so there are two very large developments that have, have, that have been happening. They're allied, uh, they're related, but they aren't uh, the same. You may have read that last month, uh, the, the cabinet, uh, cabinet secretary for national treasury um, vested all the assets of ICDC, IDB Capital, and Tourism Finance Corporation into one new company called Kenya, De Kenya Development Corporation. Mm -hmm. So what's happening there, and it, 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 it's not a, a spur of the moment activity, this was anticipated as long ago as 2013, is that we are creating a development bank. And the reason I mention it is twofold. One, that it does affect ICDC, and I'll come to that in a moment. But secondly, we are creating an industry, uh, we're creating a development bank that will uh, support the development of industry, which will benefit from what is happening at KTLN. So it's, it's, it's related in that way. Come to ICDC. So ICDC now has no assets, has no, has no, is, is now empty. It is now a shell. It's now a shell. Mm -hmm. it, uh, pending, it's now focusing entirely on transport and logistics. So we are in transition. The ICDC that existed when I last talked to you, mm -hmm. uh, which was two or three months ago, no longer exists. Mm -hmm. So it, it's also important. Now, now we have Kenya Development Corporation. Now we have Kenya Development Co Corporation, mm -hmm. which is going to be, I am confident, a serious development bank, just like EADB, just like uh, African D D Development Bank. Mm -hmm. So you have ADB at the continental level, with a couple of others, you've got EADB at regional, then you will have um, KDC doing what ICDC, IDB Capital did to bring up Kenyan industries right from independence. So, uh, KTLN, mm -hmm. I mean, in, in, is, is, is the way it was constituted, mm. what is this supposed to do? And does, does this mean that uh, the, the, these three entities are going to be wound up eventually. What we are creating, if you want to use a human body analogy, is a combination of the, of the skeleton and the arteries of, uh, of, 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 the, of, the, of the, of the, of the economy. A skeleton in the shape of ports and, 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 and roads and, and pipelines. Mm -hmm. Arteries in, 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 in the shape of the rail, in the shape of the of the of the the, the product flowing through the port and product flowing through the uh, the pipeline, they themselves are not the end, but without them, other things will not happen. Mm -hmm. And I think if you and I'm sure with your countrywide um, uh, network, you will be you are able to see what fundamental changes happen. When you, when, when you bring a road, or you bring a, a bridge, or you bring a port alongside where there was nothing before. Those things, plus of course power, are absolutely critical 
in making a modern economy a function. And I want to stress that because there has been this real this argument about, no, no, uh, you, you, you can't eat roads and you can't eat ports. Uh, but as I told another group the, the other day, maybe you can't eat roads and you can't eat ports, but you can't get <laughs> anything to eat mm -hmm. if the roads and ports don't exist. So if, if, if I give you one often quoted a statistic, 40% of the food in this country, 40% of the agricultural product in this country goes to waste. Why? Lack of storage and lack of, of, and, and lack of transport. In December, you signed uh, a joint operations agreement, mm -hmm. uh, the three institutions. Mm -hmm. uh, and one is poised to ask, why the three institutions? Well, why the three? And why not Kenya Airport Authority, Correct. for example? Yep, I, I agree. Uh, Kenya Airport, is, uh, the airport's network is part of the transportation and logistics ne network in Kenya. But if you cast your mind back, there, there is still a bill in Parliament to create Kenya Aviation Company, which was to bring together, um, um, among others, Kenya Airways and Kenya Airports. But at the time we were doing this, that process was, was, was already in Parliament. Mm -hmm. So you, you cannot interfere with a, with a, parliamentary, with, with a parliamentary process. Mm -hmm. To ask for the other three, um, uh, railways and harbors are naturally symbiotic. In fact, uh, the, those who are old enough will remember that we had East African railways and harbors, South African railways and harbors, Nigeria railways and harbors. It's always been because a port has to have evacuation. You must, you don't bring product to a port to go where. So, and the evacuation is done by road mm -hmm. or rail or in, in, in small cases, by efforts. So the relationship between railways and harbors is, has always been very strong. And if you look at the, the acts of parliament that created the two entities, uh, they are the only acts of parliament I know which, which, which mention each other and where the CEOs of each is on the board of the other by statute and where they are obligated to assist each other. Pipeline. Again, pipeline is a major, the major user of, of, of ports, mm -hmm. and it also works with railways, as we have pr proven in, uh, in Nanyuki, and has, has been happening for ages in places like Eldoret. So it was the fact that all three, in a way, depend on each other. Their roles is somehow intertwined. They are, they are intertwined. Without the port, the pipeline wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. Without pipeline and railways, the port won't work. Look, you're bringing together the operations of multi-million institutions mm. into one mm. and creating a behemoth of, a, mm. of, 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 a, of an institution. Uh, the three companies with an estimated asset of um, more, point, more than uh, 1.3, 1.4 trillion Kenya shillings. How is it easy to manage this kind of an institution? It's not easy, but we are, we are not trying to manage them. Mm -hmm. And that's a that's a very key point that you need to understand. Mm -hmm. We are trying to make them work together. They have, this, they have their own bank accounts, they have their own management, they have their own systems, mm -hmm. but because the success of each depends on the other, we're trying to, 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 make, to make them work together as they very, very success, successfully have done in the in the railways, be, be, be between Kenya Railways and Kenya, Kenya Pipeline, in building the Nanyuki Railway, mm -hmm. uh, in building the Kisumu the Railway, which we in, in rehabilitating the Kisumu Railway, uh, which is almost complete. Nanyuki was also rehabilitated, mm -hmm. where K Kenya Railways provides the expertise and the material, and, and, and Kenya Pipeline pro provides provides the cash. Go to Kisumu and see how Kenya Railways and Kenya Ports have worked to have worked together to recreate the the dry docks where we had with the Kenya def Defense Forces also involved. Mm -hmm. Go to Kisumu and see how Kenya Railways, Kenya Pipeline and Kenya Ports have worked together to, rehab to, to reinstitute 
the transportation of petroleum products by sea. So you are looking at things that are happening already. The ideal would be then also to align them so much so that we have common services. And, and that's what the, the, uh, the framework agreement is, is meant to drive, that there are <laughs> things, the, the, uh, the, the supporting, <coughs> supporting services, whether it's IT, procurement, HR, where the expectation is that in time, and hopefully sooner rather than later, we will have that backing these, these different operations. Of course, in the ultimate, the holy grail of this is to create something ak akin to some to South Africa's the transnet, the transnet, which is also a combination of rail, road, pipeline. But that will come in its own time. At the moment, let's get these entities a working together, working properly as entities. Mm -hmm. B, working together on in specific areas where the outcome will be a real benefit to you either in price or in the quality of, in the quality of service. And you've talked about a transnet and um, uh, of late it has been facing its own headwinds, you know, in terms True. of uh, 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 operations and uh, of course management. Mm. And calling for the need to unbridle this mega uh, uh, institution in the name of transnet. Uh, why would we want to go that direction uh, if we were to study the, uh, the South African uh, transnet model? Because uh, the transnet issues, such as they are, are not issues of structure. They are issues of the management. They are issues of the governance. And that's why we've been pushing so hard to make sure that long before we get to a merged entity, and that of course will require other steps, parliament and, and others, we get the governance right and we get management right so it will not it will not coalesce tomorrow it's going to be a process it is a process and a journey and a journey they are working together very soon we you'll see uh, locomotives uh, coming in to power um, uh, transportation to Danyuki you'll see more to power tra some transportation to Tikisumu you will see a revival of the railway of railway of railway travel, which has already started. You will see a revival of lakebourne travel, which has which has has or, 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 as which has already started. You will see an improvement in the petroleum and LPG sectors with the completion of Kipevu oil terminal. That's a forty billion shilling, forty billion shilling yeah, entity which sh should be ready before the, 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 the end of this year, mm -hmm. uh, which is a KPA operation, but has been developed very closely with Kenya Pipeline, mm -hmm. which will suddenly remove uh, issues like demerage, which has, has been costing this company quite a bit, mm -hmm. and will also enable this country to begin importing and using LPG to meaningful levels. So there is a lot of balls in the air those balls will eventually settle down and they will settle down into a pattern that we will be very proud to have. So far, one year down the line, mm -hmm. uh, what would you say you have achieved as ICDC in trying to harmonize the operations of KTLN? First of all, people like you talking about it. That's a real achievement. It means that somewhere along the line, you began to Acknowledge, maybe not, may, maybe not yet accept, but acknowledge that it is possible to have these three large entities working together. Sec secondly, we did put together a, a very, a very dynamic um, um, grid, one that responds to to new info, which uh, we were we had started to operate and monitor whether specific deliverables were being, were, were, were being delivered, so to speak. But with the KDC, uh, KDC um, operation, uh, the, f the, f the formation and operation, operationalization of, we've had to stop that until we get a secretariat in, 
which then now starts again to collect input, analyze, and come up with rare co recommendations from data from these companies. But even as we are restructuring and reviving ICDC, separately on Lamuport, we've been running another very active um, uh, organization, which is really a joint committee of the various organizations involved in Lamu Corridor, with, with Lamu Port as, 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 as the anchor. And that has become very active. You saw in, in today's paper, probably, you saw the, the Moyale um, border post, which has be, be, begun to, in, to increase trade between Kenya and Ethiopia by leaps and bounds. You've seen the chairs of the ent various entities going to Ethiopia uh, to really to drive the Kenya-Ethiopia trade links, which will culminate in Lamu. So even as we, as we look at, the, at ICDC from a, 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 an eagle's eye view, mm -hmm. things are happening on the ground. You see, when, the, when KTLN was being formed, uh, I mean, this, this, these three institutions, you know, uh, they had their um, uh, strategic plans. Mm -hmm. uh, they had their uh, uh, work plans mm -hmm. or, or already well designed and rolled out. And each one of them had multi billion shillings projects going on. Mm -hmm. uh, so, how have you managed to consolidate all their strategic plans and their work plans into one coherent uh, plan? First, uh, first of all, a st a tra a strategic plans aren't made for implementation tomorrow. They so, and secondly, because of that, they are, they, they are, also, they are also dynamic in, in responding to the needs. But if you, if you look at the various plans of the, of, of the entities, uh, cautiously or not, they actually do, do, do speak to each other. So, uh, uh, Kipevu or Terminal 2 uh, speaks to Kenya Pipeline's ambitions in the petroleum and LPG space. Mm -hmm. uh, the ICD, the, the new railways to Kisumu and elsewhere, they, to the railways to Nanyuki and, out, out, and, and, and ultimately to Isiolo, their strategic plans already, in a way, spoke to that. Don't forget that when, when, when government is, is putting together its, de its, de its, de its development plans, they don't do them per ministry. They do them as a sector. So th th there's, there's already a, a sector, um, a sector alignment mm -hmm. with these strategic plans. What KTLN is meant to do is to make that alignment even sharper and to give it impetus. Is it happening? It will happen. It will. It will. It but was. It, it was. Mm -hmm. It stopped because we we had to stop the midway and and get KDC going. Yeah, but it but it will. Mm -hmm. What does your board seek to achieve in the short term, to mid term? We have. I will focus on the sh short term. As, as as I said, we we created a dynamic dashboard. And the, and the expectation is that we will meet the metrics, measured uh, targets in that dynamic dashboard. I remember, I think it was you I was talking to, or, or maybe another media house, where I said we will publicize what those metrics are, and then we, you will hold us to account as to whether they have been satisfied or not. Look, uh, transport and logistics, I mean, they account for between 30 to 40 percent of, um, of companies' uh, 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 Cost. costs. Mm. Uh, in Kenya, it could be higher because of uh, inefficiencies within our transport uh, our system. Uh, how do you plan to bring this down? Exactly by what we are doing now. First of all, one of the key things that we need to sort out the, is, is, is the fact that until we get our railway right, we will not be competitive. 
and that is what is happening with railways, with the rehabilitation of the MGRs, mm. with ensuring that your farmer in Butere is able to transport their goods to Nairobi or to Kisumu or, or, or wherever they, they want to transport them. The name of the game is efficiency. Our costs have been high be because we've been inefficient. We, n we need to, to get efficiency into the system. How comes we do not have um, you know, highway operators onboarded uh, within um, your, your, your framework? First of all, there is a misnomer. Truckers, which is what I, th I think you, you, you mean by, 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 by highway op operators, are an, are an integral part of what we're trying to, to do. Because once you bring your goods by SGR from Mombasa to Na Nairobi on, 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 on Naivasha ICD, how, how do you get them from there? To by trucks. By, by trucks. Now, yes, there are some spa lines, old spa lines which were running into in the, the, the industrial area, but not, not everybody is, is in the industrial area. Mm -hmm. So the other thing that we, we pushed very hard and we resume pushing very hard would be to get a sensible way of, of ensuring that trucks meld into the system properly. What you don't want is to go to ICD and find 100 trucks or 200 trucks waiting. As it is the case now. As it is the case now. Mm -hmm. What you want to do is to have a, a system that ensures not so much the, an Uber-like system, but not too, too far away from that, but that ensures that a truck spends a minimal time coming in, collecting, and leaving. So in essence, what you're trying to say is that uh, you're relooking into how you can incorporate how, the how we highway can operators. No, no, hmm. because that will then create a, a headline saying, we are creating a kingdom. No, we're saying <laughs> <laughs> we want to see how we can partner trackers to ensure that the efficiencies we bring into the, say, the railway are then transmitted into the uh, tracking or tracking operations, which ought, which can be done. I have visited a couple of of of, uh, of stations in in Nairobi, in the ICCD area, mm -hmm. where the organization organization is f fantastic. People come, the trucks are loaded, they are gone. 20, 30, 30, 30 minutes, no no congestion. We now want to make that a, you know, to something throughout the system. Same in, in Mombasa. You don't want to see the lines of trucks that, that you see. <laughs> you want order. But before you get that order, you also have to get your own order as, KPC, as KPA or as Kenya Railways or whoever. Mm -hmm. the, the, the business of logistics, I mean, you know, it encompasses so many players apart from KPC, uh, KRC. Players and, and parts, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, you have KEBS. You mm. have Kenya Railways Authority. Of, I mean, Kenya Revenue Authority. You right. have KEFIs. Right. Uh, so, uh, how do you ensure that, yes, as ICDC, you have um, the three entities running under you. How do you ensure the efficiency of the other players who are not part of uh, the, the, your platform? By making them talk, to talk to together and be involved in problem solving. Take two areas. Mombasa port, uh, early this year, you recall, there were lots and lots of complaints about uh, uh, ships waiting. No, no. Are you hearing those complaints today? No. Because all those agencies and war were brought under one roof, talked, dissected, the problem into its manageable parts, got rid of the blockages, and now it's working. I've just told you we've got a similar op operation for Lamu Port, where all those agencies, mm -hmm. again, are talking. And that, that has been a challenge in Kenya, not just in logistics, it's, it's, it, or transport, it's getting people, government or, or organizations, to talk to each other. 
whether it's there, whether it's at the airport, where you go to airport, KCA, customs, uh, immigration, health. It is getting those things, what I call the whole of government approach. If you bring the whole of government approach, and we are hoping we are the incubus, and the pro and and the and the and the and and the and the and the and the, and the, and the carrier of that philosophy of let let's let work. We are we are all working a for the same country. Mm -hmm. We are we are we are all part of the same uh, government, and we we all we all have this the same aim, which is to serve you as a Kenyan. Mm -hmm. Once you have that, then you have the the unblocking of the blockages we had at the port. Uh, the very entities they operate, you know, with some levels of freedom. Oh, they they, they do. And um, mm. now here you have KTLN, mm. you know, as they are, as the overall overseer. Uh, at what point do you come in and say, hey, here we have to do this. Here we don't have to do ABCD. The 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 the, the, the common element is the board of ICDC, mm. which has the chairs of these entities. Mm -hmm. You cannot. And you should not, and you must not, try and run these ent entities from ICDC. What you have to do is to make sure that the people who are charged with oversighting the management of these entities mm -hmm. are involved in that broad policy d discussion and have a buy-in. When they, when they have that buy-in, you expect it to percolate to the institution. This, 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 is, uh, this, this is the world we, we live in. You will not order people to do things they, they do not want to do. But you will make them see the advantages of by inclusivity in terms of decision making. Is it an easy assignment? It is tough. It is, it's tough because of just go by, take back to, to the questions you've asked me. It's like trying to nail a jelly. It's, it's managing something that is in the process of creation. It is not managing something that is there. Maybe it's gone wrong, but you know what, what needs to do to fix it. This is something where you are creating amid enormous skepticism. Kenyans maybe have reason to be skeptical about anything new. I'm sure the, uh, the individuals who are charged with uh, oversighting and, and running Kenya Development Co Corporation will come across the same issues. We had, a, we had, if you recall, another organization called AFA, I think it was Agricultural Food Agriculture, yes. uh, and what have you, which didn't end, end up too well mm -hmm. because these things are not easy to melt. Because these are institutions with histories. One, two, going back as, 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 you know, as, as more than 100 years. These are not institutions that will easily. So there is a, it, it is hard, hard, hard work. It's enjoyable work because you can see the end game. Getting there is not easy, but we will. You will. You know, when you look mm -hmm. at uh, uh, the Logistic Performance Index Survey, which are conducted by mm -hmm. the World Bank, you know, uh, they rank Kenya as a, as a position 68 in, 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 in terms of uh, mm. uh, logistics uh, services. Uh, and this is quite low. Exactly. Really. Which is why we must do something about it. And if, if not now, as the saying goes, when? Yes, we are, we are at, at position 668. Six, are we all going to throw our hands up and say, oh God, it's, all, it's awful, we will never do anything, we will never go anywhere? You know, I was, uh, I was lucky enough in 1986 as a young banker to, to, to travel to a place with a, with a sandy beach and not much else. A few uh, breakers, one, one, hotel one, one hotel coming up. It's called Ejebelali. It's called Ejebel Today, one of the top, what, five ports in the world? That's what we are talking about. If we don't do something about it now, mm -hmm. in 10 years' time, we, we won't be number 100, number, say, number 68. We'll be number 100, or number 100, 100 and, 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 and 12. Very good. Anything else? Keep believing, keep building. Don't look for immediate returns. These things will really do as well. As we have said before, 
JKIA faced the same skepticism in the, in the early 70s. So did uh, Kenya, the first pipeline be built by Kenya Pipeline. So did so many other initiatives that the that, that Kenya government has undertaken. A thicker highway, people forget. I was part of those people charged with coming up with the infrastructure bond whose genesis was to have ways of Kenya government f uh, uh, playing its part in funding the thicker highway. I remember, I remember this kind of skepticism. No one talks, or talks ab about it now. No one talks about the fact that they still a loan. There are loans we, ha we, we are still paying. But no one talks about it. They all, we all talk about the SGR. I rest my case. Very good. Thank you very much, Chair, for finding time to be with us and, of course, for sharing those insights with us. Asante sana. Very good. We've been talking to the Chair of uh, ICDC Industrial and Commercial Development Corporation, joining us here to help us understand what is the role of Kenya Transport mm. and Logistics mm. Network. You've definitely heard it from him. My name is O'Brien Kimani. Thank you very much for watching. We do this again on Friday next week. Have a good time.